And yesterday, Justice Carlisle Graves handed down one of the toughest sentences in recent times in Barbados. Life in prison for Hakeem Stewart. Not eligible for parole for at least another 45 years. Well, cut down to 41 because he had already spent four years on remand. A signal that in Barbados, no one is getting away with murder. But not everyone might agree with Justice Carlisle Graves. And so we came out to Bridgetown, Sheraton, and other places where people are busy with their shopping to get their points of view. I mean, you could go in a place boldly and show anybody, like, we boldly to give you the years too. If you can do the time, if you can do the crime, you can do the time. Simple and easy. You don't want to regard to nobody and the law can't out the law. It need to stop somebody else. So you got to put a dent in it somewhere to make people understand that you can't do these things as you feel like. Take people left into your own hands. You know, people's got cause and they've got places that we can resolve them, like the court. You don't know, mess you're doing things bully and they sorry after. You do the time, you do the crime, you will do the time simple and easy. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of hard to have sympathy for people like that in our way, you know, because honestly, that's one of the worst crimes you can commit. You get me? Honestly, to take another person's life, and not to mention the way that it was done in public, no remorse, nothing at all. So at the end of the day, I think that's a fair judgment. Really, actually, for me, the common say is that a person get life in jail would be just my perspective. But to the family member that lost a person, you know what I mean, they would probably want more of a penalty, you know what I mean? And for the family that the person belonged to that commit the offense, they would want less of a penalty, you know what I mean? So it's one of them, it's a real tricky situation. So when the shooting happened, obviously we were closed. We had a lot of people in here, so it definitely had a really big effect on us. Um, hearing the sentence to me, it gave me a sigh of relief knowing that you know after he did something in broad daylight not caring about anybody else that he got a long sentence i thought that it should be longer however i thought it was a fair sentence i feel that it's the right method because the governance i think is too i don't like it it's too much i think it's a good start because so far we've been too lenient with people who commit crimes like that. It's a serious crime with serious consequences. And now this time it feels like the punishment really did fit the crime. Yeah, somebody's life was taken and now he gets to lose his freedom. Sounds like a fair deal to me. No matter what age you are, crime will not be tolerated. And I agree with that. I do not always believe that just because someone is young, that they should get off easy. I believe sometimes, yes, he may want to, you know, he's, I mean, really young, but his age ain't really young, he's old enough to understand what he was doing. So he want to be a bad boy, he the crime like a bad boy. Based on the, the evidence of the case and, and the nature of the crime, I think the, I think the, the verdict that was, that was given down was justified. So I don't have a problem with the verdict um, based on what was presented.